All right, you guys. So we're going to talk about what they are launching um, starting next week. And this is going to run all the way through the end of November. So starting next Monday, October 25th, every week, they're going to spotlight two products on the family call. They're going to teach you information about those two products. They're going to give you different testimonials. They're going to you to see what the value in those products is. They're going to help you learn how to upsell them. Um, and product will be on sale for that week. So every week from October 25th through November 8th, so it is a five week period, um, they will have different products spotlighted. They're going to teach you about, they're going to put them on sale. And then they said that they're throwing some other stuff in with it. So there's more outside of what they told us last night. Um, so what with these products that are going on sale, um, what they're going to do, you guys, is they're actually changing the price of these products because what they found is that um, our prices were not competitive enough, meaning we were, were underpricing ourselves. Um, and so by them underpricing, you're also getting underpaid um, because you're not receiving the amount of money that would be receiving for selling those products. So they made an adjustment on the cost, but they also made an adjustment on the volume so that you're paid more off of these products. And it was a slight increase on each of the products. So it's nothing massive or crazy that's going to turn somebody off. It essentially is just putting more money in your pocket because um, I know one of them that they talked about on the diamond and above zoom was um, refresh, which is our facial cleanser. And that one, I think right now is like 36 and that one is getting bumped to, I believe 40 or 42, but with it being 36, the volume on it is like 28. Um, but with them bumping it to that 40, I think the volume on it is like 39 now. So they're massively increasing the volume and just bumping the price up a couple of dollars to make sure that we get paid more. So, um, the pricing that they're going to, that customers and ourselves, that from my understanding, we can take advantage of these sales as well. The pricing that they're doing during that week sale, you're going to treat it just like you do when we have a BOGO. So when we do BOGO coffee, right, they get two bags for the price of one. Well, then the following month, they get one bag of coffee for that price, right? They don't lock in that BOGO pricing for life. So it's the same concept with the sale. So when they get the sale, if they come in as a brand new customer with the sale product, it will be that price, you know, the first month, but then the following month, it's going to go up to whatever the regular price is. So, um, Cammie's whole thing that she was talking about last night. And I personally like the way that she thinks is it's more of an upsell. We might have a couple of posts for those products, but I'm mainly going to be looking at how can we upsell these products, um, so that, you guys can have a higher volume for each customer. So um, you guys might want to grab a pen and paper, but I'm also going to show you where you can find all of this. Um, week one, which I didn't write the dates down. I just wrote the week, like October 25th through November 3rd, maybe. Um, no, sorry, through October 31st. Um, that is going to be Lash and Brow Serum. And it's going to be on sale for $52 and the volume on it is going to be 52 BV as well. And then the firming neck cream is going to be on sale for $47 and it's also going to be 47 BV. So I love that like the BV matches the dollar amount on those. Um, and those are something that we really could stand to work on upselling, right? Because it's like lash and brow, something that works so well, but we hardly ever talk about it. Um, week two. If you weren't on the call last night, you guys, this is super exciting. We have a new product being released week two, and it is a seasonal keto coffee. It's coming in a packet, not a pod, and it is a sugar cookie flavor. So I'm very excited about that. That should be delicious. I know we did um, peppermint mocha last year. I'm still hoping that we bring that one back. But um, any of our like sweeter keto coffees that we've had, I always love. I actually did salted caramel this morning and it was delicious. So I think sugar cookie keto coffees would be awesome. And like I said, it is seasonal. So it will be on sale in week two. And then it will go to regular keto coffee pricing in week three. And then that can be their auto shipment, but odds are it will will probably um, be on auto shipment through about, I don't know, those of you who've been with me. Yeah. Sorry, Kyla. You're right. This is not Canada. This is us right now that I'm talking about. You're right. Kyla. Um, um, 
like normally when we do a seasonal one, it's, it lasts until about January or February. It just depends on how popular it is. And so they basically make a whole bunch. And then once we sell out, we sell out. Um, and then we just pray that they bring it back the following year <laughs> when it's seasonal again. Um, so week two is your, uh, sugar cookie, keto coffee. That is $42 instead of 49. And then it's 39 BV instead of 30. I think, what do we get? 30 BV for keto coffee. So that's a really awesome increase on the volume there. Um, and then I wrote down sugar cookie twice. So I don't know what the other product is. I got to pull the sheet up and I'll show you guys the sheet. So then week three is going to be radiance. Um, radiance is amazing. You guys, if you're not using radiance, I encourage you guys get a bottle of radiance when it's on sale because it's flipping awesome. It's basically like a natural retinol. Um, and it just moisturizes your face, gets rid of wrinkles and fine lines helps with like the, the appearance of large pores. Like it's freaking awesome. I love the stuff. Um, so that is going to be on sale for $35 and 35 BV. And then refresh will be on sale for $34 and 32 BV week four is going to be collagen on sale for $37 and 35 BV. And then hydrate will also be on sale for $39 and 35 BV. And then week five, they're doing confianza and carb control. Confianza will be $32 for 30 BV and carb control will be $37 with 35 BV. Um, and so if you guys are like, oh, I was trying to keep track of that, but I couldn't, or I'm not going to remember all of that. I'm going to show you guys where to find it. Let me just, oh, it didn't log me in. Let me just log into eSuite real quick. And then I'll share a screen and show you guys. And um, I just haven't had a chance to print it today, but I, uh, I will tell you within 24 hours, this will be printed up um, because like we need to have this printed out to know essentially what they've done. You guys has given us a game plan um, for October 25th through November 28th. And so what I gave you was just five weeks, but that obviously takes us, um, November 28th is, is further out than five weeks. Um, does anybody remember what it was called? Because I can't stink and find it in here. Was it fall? What was it? Third, qu fourth quarter game plan. Oh, that's right. I think I'm looking in the wrong spot. See, that's fall game plan it's in the middle. It's, it's in the middle. Yeah, it's like halfway down. On the first page? Of the documents, yeah. Oh, in the documents. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure if they had it on the front page because like they have our monthly game plan on the front page. Um, I couldn't find it on the front page. Okay, that's why I can't find it. And then they did say, you guys, that um, our tracker is in eSuite now for and a friend. Mine is not showing. And I know that there's some people who are don't have them showing. Some people see them, some people don't. So um, it will be on your very front page when you very first log into eSuite. Um, it's going to be right there um, on the right hand side where we used, if you guys were with us for every five DT or every five customers, you got $100. It's where that tracker used to be. Um, Does Regina, it's called. There, okay, fall game plan. There it is. Okay, you guys, let me share a screen. Ashton's out there yelling at me. Okay, guys, so you're going to click on your documents. Go to the top. So you're going to log into eSuite. You're going to click on your document library. And then when that pulls up, you can do one of two things. You can search fall and then it'll be all the conference stuff, uh, fall game plan right here. Or click on promotions button on the left-hand side and then scroll down till you see the fall game plan. So then um, you just click download. And then I want you guys to take a look at it with me because like I said, they said there's more things that they're doing um, for us between now and November 28th. So um, print it out, you guys, because it's it's really awesome. So here's where it's going to show you each week what products are on sale. Um, and so that's going to be on the left here. And then on the right, look at how fun this is, you guys. So let me move my 
happening here so I can see it. Um, look how fun this is going to be, you guys. So on Monday, the 22nd, they're going to release to us a detailed holiday promotion guide so that we know what our cyber week deals are going to be. So this is as we're coming into Thanksgiving, right? Here's Thanksgiving. So on Monday before Thanksgiving, they're going to let us know what all of our cyber week deals are. So cyber week is essentially from Wednesday through December 3rd. So they're going to let us know everything that they're going to have, which I'm so grateful for, because then I can prep all of our content um, to match with whatever the, the deals are. So then on Wednesday, they're going to have our Black Friday specials launch, and then they're going to run through midnight on December 3rd. And then they're also going to have doorbuster specials. Um, and the best prices on selected items are going to be only on the 24th and 26th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. So that means, you guys, once we know what we have here, when they tell us on Monday, I'm on Tuesday night going to start promoting the heck out of that. Because especially since I'm on the West Coast, that means that it runs from 6 a.m. until 10 a.m. or 11. Yeah, 10 a.m. my time. So anybody on the West coast that wants to get a hold of this, like I'm going to have to jump on it with them. And then same thing Thursday night after we do Thanksgiving dinner and everybody's like looking at black Friday shopping, um, I'm going to be talking about whatever the deals are that are on Friday morning. That way I can get a pre-sell list or a pre-order list ready to go so that I can get up at 6 a.m. on Wednesday and Friday and go ahead and start placing orders for those items. So then on Saturday, we're going to have small business Saturday. It says, join us as we promote your small business with special promotions and digital assets. So it sounds like they're going to be doing a lot to help us promote our small business. Sunday, fun day, they're going to be doing, it sounds like they're going to be doing lives, maybe Zooms, and we get to, uh, we distributors get to play for contests and get to play contests and win prizes. So Sunday, fun day is set more for us um, to win things from corporate. Then obviously we have Cyber Monday. Then on Tuesday, you have Giving Tuesday. So then anything that um, people purchase on Giving Tuesday, proceeds are going to go towards Give Back. And then December 1st through the 3rd, they're going to continue with more Cyber Week deals. And they said that they will be releasing that, those to us. And see, I can't see the writing there on the bottom. Um, start December strong, finish your Christmas cash bonus with Cyber Specials through midnight on 12-3. So um, it's going to be super awesome, you guys. I do encourage you to print this so that you have this and know exactly what's going on because because yes, while I will be putting things in boards for you and helping you guys, um, you know, on my end, help yourselves too, and have that all ready to go. Um, because maybe as I talked about some of those products that are going to be on sale, you thought of current customers that you have who like order, I don't know, maybe you have someone who does skincare all the time. And so, you know, that they're going to be really excited, um, about the, the refresh and, um, radiance sale. I know I was excited about the collagen sale. Um, we all know somebody who loves coffee, right? We all have that customer, hopefully more than just one, but we all have a customer who loves coffee. So anyways, um, there's just lots and lots of good stuff. So yeah, some of the prices have already increased you guys. Um, oh, are you serious? You guys couldn't see it. Wait, you can't see your tracker. You couldn't see the sheet that I was showing. can't see the sheet it wasn't sharing the screen the was, no is it showing it now are you guys able to yes, see it nothing. yes nothing yes now we can yes. see it what the heck yeah. i'm so sorry you guys and i could see the chat was going off i just thought you guys were talking about how excited you were like it like on on my end when i'm sharing screen all i can see is a couple of faces and then like it'll show like like a red thing that there's people talking in the chat but it doesn't tell me what's being said so sorry you guys okay well and let's take a look at this again on the left here is your weekly products the dates that they're for sale the sale price all of that that's us but I believe international, all of this is the same for you guys. Um, and I know that they said that they're going to be doing things for international as well. David Vanderbeen is going to be releasing those. So as soon as I hear, um, I will let you guys know. I'm assuming um, that we'll hear on the VIP call, but normally we're supposed to have those the first the first Monday after we get paid and we didn't have one today. So I'm not sure when the VIP call is, but I'm sure once we have VIP, they'll... Um, they'll let us know what's going on with international as well. So anyways, print this document out, you guys. It's really super helpful for you to just kind of see and plan um, for 
what's coming. So this is, I think the thing that I'm most excited about, um, is that they said that the last week of November. So like that Christmas week, their goal for us is that our sales and the business that we do in that time is the same amount that we would do in an entire month. So they are giving us everything that we need to be able to do a month's worth of business in a week's time. That doesn't mean you take November off up until that week, but it means you guys can build yourself some fat checks that you'll get paid out in December right before Christmas. So um, I'm super excited about it because I think it's going to be awesome to see what exactly they launch because they, obviously they didn't tell us everything, but so far with what they've shown us that they have, it's going to be really, really awesome, you guys. And there's going to be so many things to get excited about. But the way that you have a successful, um, a successful October, end of October into November and then December, you know, to ha have success with these sales that they're going to be having and everything that they're going to be launching for us is that we stay consistent right now. If you're not actively posting daily, if you're not actively messaging, you're not actively having people host a post for you. Um, it's going to be hard. You're going to be playing catch up as these sales are coming out. I know I'm like behind on host a post and I'm just telling myself, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to let it be. And, um, you know, like it is what it is. I'm behind and it's okay that I'm behind. It's probably going to stay behind for the next few months. Like I just will have a hard time catching up, but that's okay because that means that I'm talking to a lot of people and I'm not not slowing down on how many hosts posts I'm getting up. Um, you know, I, I told you guys earlier in our, um, um, accountability group, I was at seven hosts of posts. I think I have like 10 more people who've said yes, um, to post and I'm still going to send them posts tonight. I'm not waiting until tomorrow to have them post. Cause that's my afternoon messages. I sent people are saying yes. So, um, Yes. And it's supposed to be easier to get your 180 for your four and one with, um, the sales and increasing that volume for you guys and with everything else that they're doing. So, um, whose screen is that? Cause that's awesome. Desiree's got her sheet already printed out. I love it. Desiree. Uh, but like I said, guys, make sure you take the time to go print that out tonight. Cause that is your game plan for the next, um, I don't know what, what it is. Eight weeks six weeks, whatever it is. I don't know if I'm not looking at the calendar. I have no idea. <laughs> Did I get you through December 3rd? Okay. Um, so super, super excited about that. So, um, all right. I need you guys to be ready. I'm going to turn on my red just for a minute. And remember, this is so loving you guys. This is so stinking loving. I promise you, um, I'm speaking to my accountability group. Okay. If you're not in the accountability group, I would still perk up and listen, but my accountability group guys, there's 11 of us in there. And there is a very small handful actually holding themselves accountable every day. So if you haven't already posted your card in there, we best see your card be posted in there. You should be checking in every day, letting us know that you listen to the strangest secret. You should be checking in every day, showing your gratitudes. You should be checking in every day, showing us that you, or, you know, letting us know, Hey, I sent my 30 messages this morning, 30 messages this afternoon, 30 at night. Um, and I told you guys going into this, that I'm not going to kick anybody out. Like I normally do. Listen, you guys, if you're, this is your first time and you're in the accountability group, I'm being so nice right now. Okay. Anybody who's done a push group with me knows I'm like, I'm hardcore in the push groups. Like if it's a push group and you're not keeping up, you're, I, I kick you out. I give you like a chance. And if you don't redeem yourself, you're gone. Like, so I'm not doing that with the accountability group, but I did tell you guys at the start, this is to hold you accountable, to help you stay focused through the holidays. Because I can tell you guys, if you feel like you're distracted right now, I'm just being honest with you. You're going to be so distracted over the next two months that your business will fall. Okay. So if you feel distracted now, you've got to figure out what's causing that distraction and you have to be able to figure out a game plan to get past it. Um, and guys, not everybody, or it's not, I don't know. I'm not going to say it right, but basically nobody feels motivated all the time. Okay. Nobody feels motivated all the time there, especially lately. It's been hard for me to focus and get work done. I've just lately been like, uh, like I had Ivan home from school today and Ashton. And I was like, all I want to do is sit and watch Halloween movies with the kids. But I still made sure that I got my messages out. I still made sure that I checked in on, on as many hosts posts as I could, as many as, as uh, Facebook will let me reply to comments on without blocking me. I still recorded, uh, four or five, I don't know, four or five different videos so that I have reels and TikTok and all that ready to go. So, um, this is not, nobody has to like 
feel like I'm pointing at anyone in particular. Like I said, there's 11 of us and there is a very small handful of people who are actually being consistent daily. So this is my, Hey, I'm holding you accountable. And you guys might be mad at me about it and that's okay. I'm going to tell you guys, I love you, but it's not my job to make you like me. It's my job to make sure that I help you make a lot of money. Um, I like it if you guys like me, but it's kind of like my kids. Like I tell Ivan, I'm like, it's not my job to make you like me. It's my job to make sure that I raise you correctly. So, um, Jen's done. I know. I know guys. I, let me tell you something. I have calmed down so much. I think over the last two years, um, I used to be really (laughs) way more hardcore. This was a really nice red talk that you guys got. Um, but anyways, I love you guys. I just want to see you be successful. And I have been doing this long enough to know that if you are falling off now, when you don't get back on track, you're going to struggle and fall off. And you're going to be super disappointed with your checks come Christmas and even heading into the first of the year. And I will tell you guys, despite the fact that we aren't doing in-person conference in winter, whatever we're calling it in February, which I'm a little sour over, I'm not even going to lie you guys, because it's just a million times better in person, even though we're not doing that, you guys heading into the first part of the year, your business will explode. If you put the work in right now And like, I mean, I, because I've done it both ways, guys, I've done it where I haven't worked hard through the holidays. I've shown up for my business, but I haven't gone like, sorry, kids cover their ears. I haven't gone balls to the wall, like hard in my, in my business. And my check has dramatically dropped. And then it's like momentum season comes because starting in January, that's really when you start to see momentum season, momentum season comes, but because I was screwing around and I didn't take my business as seriously as I should have, I'm trying to play catch up and I don't have a massive momentum season like I had hoped to have. And then I've had the years where I've gone crazy, even through the holidays. And when I say go crazy, you guys, I don't mean you have to spend 24 seven on your phone. I'm just talking about making sure that you have scheduled out time to work your business business every day. You know, it doesn't have to be the same time every day. Just make sure that you are doing those things that, you know, will help you to, to have a successful business. Um, but if you guys stay consistent through the holidays, Holy moly, let me just tell you guys, crazy things happen come January, crazy, crazy, awesome things happen come January. And I know sometimes it can be discouraging right now. You might feel like you're messaging a ton of people and nobody's saying yes, you're getting all kinds of no's, um, or you're getting ghosted. Um, guys, that's how that happens to everyone starts to happen this time of year. Like just, you guys know, always be straightforward and transparent with you. It starts to happen this time of year because you have people who are starting to purchase Christmas gifts or starting to realize that they're not going to be able to afford Christmas for their family. If they don't stop spending money, um, you're going to see a lot of people cancel auto shipments right now. You're going to see customers cancel out because they hit three months. And again, they know that Christmas is coming. Um, they know Thanksgiving's coming. Let's just be honest. You guys, if you have a kid, how much did you spend on their stupid Halloween costume? I mean, it's freaking ridiculous. We took Ashton to the store. Thank goodness. My aunt and uncle had, um, purchased her, like when my cousin was still working for Disney, they went to like the special Disney store that the employees get to go to and got Ashton a super cute Elsa costume like two years ago. And it fits her now. And when I showed Ashton all the costumes in the Halloween store, she fell in love with the Elsa costume. And I was like, wait, I'm pretty sure we have one at home. So anyways, but I went to the Halloween store and they're like 60 bucks for Ashton, like for a two-year-old, it's like $60 for a stupid Halloween costume. And that was without accessories. You guys, that's just the costume. That's not her little bucket or like a little crown or jewelry or shoes or anything like that. So, you know, that's what you're coming up against right now is people are having to get Halloween costumes for their kids. If they live in a neighborhood, they're having to buy candy. Have you guys seen how expensive candy is? Like I know some people that spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on candy just to give out, um, to trick or treaters. That's why you live in the country guys. No one ever comes to your house <laughs> to trick or treat. Um, but you know, like people are already seeing that there's expenses right now and that they're having to pay out. If you have a high schooler, we just had homecoming. I had to buy Ivan. Luckily he had nice clothes because of football, but if he hadn't had football, we would have had to go out and buy him some nice clothes for the dance. You could get the dance ticket. So people have extra expenses coming up right now that they didn't plan for. So what are they going to do? Of course, they're going to drop their auto shipment because especially if, if they're a woman, which the majority of our customers are women, not all. I definitely sign men customers every single month, but the majority are female. And if they have children, 
there, that's the first thing you sacrifice is yourself, right? Like the first thing you give up as a mom is whatever you need, you want, you desire, and it goes to the kids. So, um, yeah, Alicia said, yeah, 300 bucks for two kids. Like that's ridiculous. It's crazy. It's crazy. So prepare yourself. You guys don't get mad when that happens. Be understanding because you never know they might get through this season and they see that you lived well through the holidays. You didn't struggle. And they might say, you know what? She did fine through the holidays and I didn't, maybe it's time I actually do take her up on her offer to work with her or, you know, they, they were totally fine for X, Y, Z. And here I am with a whole bunch of credit card debt now after the holidays and I need help. Maybe I should reach out to them and find out what this is that they're doing. So it's, I know, trust me. I know when you get the fifth cancellation message of the day, you just want to be like, you know what, screw you. Like, you know, whatever their name is, uh, let's, Never mind. I was going to make a funny joke, but I, I don't know if everyone's going to think it's funny. So never mind. Never mind. Um, but you know, you, you get mad and you're like, screw you. Like, you know, you, you, everyone's canceling what's wrong with you. And you want to kind of be a smart aleck or you want to block them. Like I, guys, I know I've done it before. Um, but remember that if you react appropriately, they might end up joining your team. I'm pretty sure Alicia canceled her order with me for like off and on a lot. She would order for a while and she would cancel. She'd order and cancel. And now she's on my team, you know, and that's because I was nice when she canceled out. Um, so be nice and, and watch what happens you guys. And it might not take until after Christmas. It might be that they go, they cancel their order. And then they're seeing three weeks later that you're still doing all the things that they're not able to do. And they're looking at, I either have to go work at target seasonally or I can ask Taryn about her business. Obviously they want to ask about your business. So what I would say you guys right now is be super intentional with how you're posting, what you're showing yourself doing. Um, it doesn't mean you have to be dishonest, but even the little things that you might think aren't a big deal might be a big deal to somebody because I know like we're planning on doing, um, Halloween movie on Saturday night. And so while I won't post it Saturday night, I will take pictures and then post it on Sunday. And guys, it's like, we're doing a Halloween movie. I'll probably make some hot chocolate. And I bought like the $3, um, refrigerated pre-done, like like Jack lantern cookies, you know, and so we'll bake those up and I'll do a post with that. But I can tell you if I post, if I saw that post when I was working at the restaurant, because I was trying to cover buying Ivan a Halloween costume. And I saw that this girl's at home having a Halloween movie, doing all the extras, right. The hot chocolate and the cookies. Um, and I'm out working and I'm barely making ends meet. And she's over here, maybe making some sample cash while she's doing that or signing a customer guys, listen, I'm just guys, seriously, you don't always have to sign a customer right in the moment. Okay. But if you signed a customer within the last month and you haven't posted about it, it's okay to put that screenshot on a picture of something that you're doing and say, wow, I'm so grateful for this business that I get to sign customers while I'm sitting here with my family or while I'm out doing this that I love to do. Okay. You can fudge the truth a little bit. Okay. I don't like lying, but if you truly did sign the customer, then it's okay if you waited a little bit to post that you signed the customer, right? Because you don't know who's watching and who's, like I said, who's saying, wow, I wish I wasn't at work tonight. I wish I was at home making money like this person is over here. Does that make sense? So I would just make sure you were being super intentional with what you're posting right now, you guys. Um, I encourage you guys, you know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm almost done with boards. All of your, um, stories are done for the week in boards. Most of your business opportunity posts are done. It's just, I need to get a few more product posts put in there and then boards will be done. But I'd encourage you guys to take a look at it the night before. If I've updated the date, not going to lie. still got to get a product post in for tomorrow, but everything else is updated for tomorrow. So you guys can take a peek at it. And if the business opportunity post doesn't speak to you, take a minute and write your own. Think about what you're doing tomorrow. Like if you look at it the night before, think about what you're doing tomorrow and, and you know, like, okay, am I doing something that I could turn it into a business opportunity post? Like I, I could have posted, I didn't today, but I could have posted about how I had the freedom to be able to stay home with the kids. Um, when I kept Ivan home today, you know, like there's, there's plenty of different opportunities that you have on Thursday. I can write a post about how I'm grateful that I work from home and I can be the one that goes and picks up food for the football team and delivers it every week. That that's been a real blessing for me to be able to do that for the kids. Like, you know, that's, it's been a fun thing for me to be able to, 
to be a part of that for Ivan and, you know, in his high school career. So, you know, there's all kinds of things that maybe you think aren't a big deal, but really could be a big deal. If you drive through and pick up dinner tomorrow night, you know, maybe that that's something that some, not everybody can do. So talk about it and say grateful for, you know, it works picking up the dinner tab. It doesn't matter what it was. You guys, if you ordered five things off the dollar menu at McDonald's, I don't even know if they have a dollar menu anymore, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter what it is, what it matters, what matters to people is that you're showing that this business can provide real money because most of the time people are skeptical and think that it's not real money that you're making. I don't know what the F they think you're making monopoly money. Like, I'm not really sure because that's, I love when people ask me that, well, do you actually make money? And a lot of times I'll say, if I don't, I'm not sure how I've paid my mortgage for the last what, four years now and not been kicked out of my house. Like, <laughs> not sure. I know Jen, I didn't do mine either. That's I'm like preaching to myself right now. I got gas and I forgot to take a picture of the dang gas thing, um, showing that I paid for gas, but that's okay. I'll, I'll be right now. I'm blowing through like a tank every four days. So, you know, I'll be back at the gas station this week again. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, because we live, it's like a, I think it's 35 or 40 miles round trip to take Ivan to school and come home. And I do that at least twice a day, if not three times a day. So, um, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so I know I'll be filling my gas tank again, but you know, you guys, even if you don't fill it, you guys, Okay. Cause I've done this before. There's been times because like gas is okay price where Ivan goes to school. But if you go like another 15 minutes down the freeway, it's a lot better price at Costco. So sometimes if I know that I'm going to be down the hill further, um, during that week, then I'm going to, um, then I'll like only fill halfway. So if I do that, I'll do like a boomerang and I'll show it. Like, I might be like, okay, I'm only going to put $35 in right now. And so I'll do the boomerang when it hits like 33. And so it shows it counting up. Right. But it doesn't show that I stopped at 35. And even if you stop at 35, like you're lucky if that's what it costs to fill your tank. But you know, um, if you stop at 35, then take a picture of it and just say, I'm so glad that I don't have to do $10 at a time anymore. I remember when I used to have to just put $10 worth of gas in, cause that's all I could afford guys. It really is the little things that make people stop and take and pay attention and take a look at what you have. Um, Kyla, I don't, I don't know what that translates over for us down here. All I know is I just paid four fifty a gallon. Um, California is ridiculous. And I think New York, you guys are probably close to being the same as us. Yeah. I know I, uh, when I posted, I posted like a couple of weeks ago, my gas and someone private messaged me and they were like, what on earth does gas cost out there? It's only two seventy five here. What are you paying? And I was like, uh, yeah, I think at that time I was paying like four thirty-five. I'm like, uh, <laughs> you're lucky. <laughs> That's all I can say. But anyways, you guys, so people do take notice. Okay. People take notice when you post things like that. Um, all right. Do you guys have any questions off anything that I threw at you? I, I know I threw a lot at you tonight. No questions. Okay. So, oh, wait, is there a question? No. Okay. I thought it said someone was unmuting, but okay. Um, so you guys, what I would like to do just to finish out like the last 15, 18 minutes is to do some work together because you guys already set this time aside, right? So let's go ahead and do a little bit of work together so that way you can get some stuff done. So first thing that I want you guys to do, if you have not already is go ahead and get a post up. So it can be the, if you haven't, like maybe you've done business opportunity, but you haven't done product, maybe you've done product, but not business opportunity. Maybe you did both. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to tell you guys. Um, if you notice in the boards, look at, um, I, I started putting like additional posts. It's not always going to be there, but if I see something, um, that I'm like, Oh, like, okay. So like this one that I put in there, if you see me in public looking a hot mess, just know my bills are paid. My kids have food and I ain't trying to impress you. So the reason I put that there, Ashley Fluger used that and it got shared like 75 times. She had hundreds of comments shared a billion times. Like, so it got a lot of interaction. It's like that, that one that Jen posted about, um, I don't know, something about a women walking through a storm and they were, I don't know. I don't know guys, but all I know is it got shared a lot and I don't normally post stuff like that on my page, but it got shared so much that I was like, what the heck I'll try. And yeah, it got shared a bunch of times off my page. So if I see something that's shared a lot, I might throw it in there for you guys as an additional post. Um, 
on tomorrow, you're going to see there's an extra slide to add to your story. You already have an other product, a coffee and a business opportunity slide. But then um, I threw this one in tomorrow for getting people entered into the giveaway. So keep an eye in the store, in the um, tasks, you might see additional um, posts in there for you to put up like something just extra. Um, but I highly encourage you. Yeah. Jen said hers got shared like 60 times. Um, I highly encourage you guys, if you've already done the product post today and the business opportunity post, then post something that has nothing to do with it work. So it can be that picture that I sent. Um, you guys can say like Daniel for you. I know you guys just had a buy, so I don't know who you guys play this week, but you could be like, Hey, Niners fans, who do you think, um, you know, what do you think it's going to be? The game's going to be like this week, or I don't know who you guys are playing this week. Um, you know, or whatever, like you can do something football related. You can do, um, you know, something about your kids. I know tonight I need to post a picture of Ivan for homecoming. I didn't post a picture of him going to his homecoming dance. So I got to run it through a filter real quick, brighten it up. And then I'm going to post a picture of him before he went to his dance. Um, yes, Kyla, I can send you guys the Halloween, this or that. Um, I'm glad you brought that up too. So what I recommend you guys, if you notice, I did like Halloween, this or that, I highly encourage you. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go look at my story. Um, it basically just gives two options and then they vote on a poll. Okay. So you have to put your own poll over my poll. Otherwise it's not going to give them an option to vote, but Someone said, and I, and I tried it and I've tried it, um, a couple weeks in a row now, and it's working when your story views are low. Um, when you take your Sabbath, let your story end, right? Like if you take 24 hours off, you're not posting anything to your story for 24 hours. And so everything disappears off and there's nothing in your story. So when you let it run for 24 hours and everything disappear, then what you want to do is your first slides. You want them to be something that people vote on, but I, you don't want them to be like, it works stuff because you you'll get like hit and miss people voting on stuff. Right. But if you do something silly and guys, like it's the stupidest stuff last week, I did food. Okay. Like, like pizza or tacos, um, chocolate or vanilla, like it's stupid stuff, but I cannot get over how many people interact on that. And so what it does is because it's like your first thing that you're posting in your story, you're getting a ton of interaction on it. Instagram's like, dang, her story's fire today. I'm going to show everybody her story. It's going to be at the front for everyone to see. And so your views start going up on your story. So I generally will do, um, like, uh, this or that, and then I'll follow it up with like a personal, story. Like, you know, I did a picture of Ashton in my bed this morning. And then right after that is either caught like my coffee video or a business opportunity slide, or then I'll launch into an it works thing because then you get a ton of views. So mine didn't do as great today. I have 155 views for my first slide on my story. And normally like when I come off of Saturday doing it, um, like when I do it Sunday, I'll see like three or 400 views. Remember guys, I have a lot of followers on Instagram. So don't like, don't get upset and be like, well, I only got 50. Okay. Um, so normally I see like three or 400 in comparison to like a hundred, maybe 120. So then like the first slide I have is candy corner chocolates. There's 129 views on it. And I had 48 people vote on that stupid poll. Okay. Like the next one, 45 voted the next one, 46 voted like people love voting on these things. I don't know why. So, um, I'll send that to the team chat right now for you guys. So you can throw that in your, in your, um, story if you want, but, um, hopefully I've talked enough that you guys have gotten a post up also while I talk nonstop. Let me go ahead and send this to you guys real quick. Also. Okay. So I just sent that to, um, to the team chat. So feel free to, um, take that and put that in your story. So, um, all right, guys, next thing I want to do is we should all be sending 30 messages, asking somebody to post for us at night. So this is going to count as your nighttime 30. What that means is when someone responds tonight, cause you will have somebody respond to you tonight and say, yeah, sure. I'll do it. Um, you're not going to send them a post. Just leave the message unread. And then when you wake up in the morning, um, that's going to be one of the first tasks you do is just kick out those posts. The, I did update the host of post board. Um, I think it was this morning I updated it because we have two winners this week. So it says uh, this week we're doing two winners to give to each get $500 on October 24th. Um, so you guys can use the host of post board. If you guys need ideas for, um, um, like a business opportunity post. I've been playing with a couple of them. I found two that I like the most. 
Um, so I can send those to you guys if you want those um, to give as a host to post. And then I also, I also always use gummies, guys. I always, always use gummies um, when I'm giving a product. The majority of the posts that I've been giving, though, have been business opportunity because I'm really trying to focus on completing three cycles. And in order to do that, I have to get my first four, three, four in ones, right? Um, so, all right, guys. So you have a few options with messaging 30. Um, you might have a giveaway post that somebody did and you've gone and replied to comments and told them to add you as a friend and message you giveaway. Um, there's some days where I have 30 right there that I can just boom, 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 accept the friend request, message them and kick my 30 messages out. That's what I did this morning. Um, there's times where there's maybe four in there and I don't get a whole lot. So then when I don't have any friend requests to accept and, you know, people to say, um, you know, here's, here's what you do. The next thing I do is I go to my page and I go to my giveaway post. Do I have 30 people on there that I can message right now? Yes. Sometimes though, I might be running to the end of it and I only have five or six on there. Um, once I've messaged those people, then I jump to my friends list and I started at a, um, at the start of the year, I started at a, and I am to um, no, I made it to L I'm in L right now. Okay. So it's going to take me all year long to make it through my friends list, which is kind of nice because I messaged them once a year asking them to post for me. If I've gone three years of asking them and they haven't answered, they're gone. Um, so there's different ways. Now you guys, I'm going to send you, I have to send it to, um, the team chat because I, I don't know. Would it, is it easier for you guys if I send verbiage to the team chat or if I send it to the chat in here? Anyone? Team chat, team chat. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So this first message I'm sending to the team chat, this is what I send to people who comment on my giveaway post. Okay. If they comment on somebody, if somebody does a giveaway post for me and they comment on it and they add me as a friend, I use the message that's in our host to post board every time. The only thing I change is after, depending on how I'm doing with giveaway posts, like right now I have a lot out there and I'm trying to play catch up. So, um, right now there's that part that says, all you have to do is, is put up a post for me about the giveaway. I pull the, about the giveaway out. And it just says, all you have to do is put up a post for me. Okay. Um, so that is what they get. If they comment on somebody else's post, if I put a giveaway post up, like we did, what's your grandpa's name last week, this is what I'm sending them. And so, um, change this. If you don't want to do some of the stuff that's in here. So it says, Hey Tina, I saw you commented on my post about my Christmas cash giveaway. There are two ways to get an entry. One, throw up a post I give you on your Facebook about my business or the giveaway. I'll send the post and you copy and paste it. Don't worry, you're not endorsing anything. Or two, you can purchase a trial pack of my nighttime sleepy tea or fat burning coffee, French roast black or white mocha for $25. I'm increasing the price. I'm going to spend that to you in a minute. Um, or a body contouring applicator for $30 and I'll ship it to you for free. You can do one for one entry or do both for two. Which option would you like? Option one, option two, or both. Guys, this is how I make so much sample cash. A lot of people say option two. Obviously, we want them to post, but you know how you have people who aren't comfortable posting? A lot of times they'll do option two. So this gives those people who aren't comfortable posting that second option to purchase a sample. So maybe you guys don't want to have to deal with the hassle of going to the post office. I've just told myself I have to get better about it because you guys know I suck at going to the post office. Um, so I do have the option of white mocha or the wraps. Okay. But that means I have to go to the post office. If you don't feel like going to the post office and you're in the U S then you can just, you can take that part out and you can just put nighttime sleepy tea or fat burning coffee. And if they choose fat burning coffee, you're sending them through the sample app, the French roast black skinny brew. That's it. Okay. There's no other options for them. Um, and I mean, I just recently changed it. I was just doing tea and coffee and it was skinny brew. And I sold tons and tons and tons of samples that way. I have found a lot of people want the white mocha, but you have to have white mocha on hand to ship out. Obviously though, if you're selling it three for 25, you need to sell six of them and you've paid for that entire bag. So now the rest of the nine that you have in that bag are just straight profit. Um, so I increased the price, um, just starting today. Um, hang tight guys. Ivan's calling me. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Hey, son.
He's so cute. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot you on zoom. I'm sorry. <laughs> he thought I was picking him up. Um, so Heather Juno made just under $2,000 last month in sample cash, sample cash, just under 2000 in sample cash. Okay. She's selling all of her sample packs. The coffee is $25. The body applicators is 30. She said she hasn't had one person have an issue with it. She tells them three for 25 or six for 40. Um, so, you know, she drops it to like $20 a package if they do six of them. Um, and then the body wrap, she does one for 30 or two for 50, I think. Um, so I highly encourage you guys test it out. Okay. You guys, the worst that's going to happen is they're going to say option one. And they're going to post for you or they ghost you. But if they ghost you, they were going to ghost you anyways. Right. It didn't matter if you offered the samples or not. Um, yeah, Kyla, I would change it to keto coffee and keto tea. If that's what you want to have on hand. Um, do you guys, you guys don't, you guys don't have skinny tea yet either. Do you? Cause that's an option to us. You guys can, if you guys want to order skinny tea and do skinny tea, I know Samantha Bowers sells a ton of skinny tea samples. Really? You guys, what I would say is you're going to sell samples of what you talk about the most. I do a few, um, sleepy tea. So I would keep the sleepy tea in there, but I do talk about sleepy tea occasionally in my stories, but almost every single one is coffee since adding the wraps in, I have actually had quite a few people order wraps. Um, so Kyla, I, I would say for Canada, keep the wraps on there. If you're, you know, if you guys are going to the post office anyways, um, the other thing you guys, if you have product rewards, those expire on the 31st. So I would encourage you go redeem them and redeem them for wraps because then you can sell those wraps. You paid $20 for a package of three and you're now selling one for 30. So you're making massive profit off of that. The reason I'm doing them at 30 is because as soon as product rewards are gone, we're paying in, in us, you guys, we're paying $50 for a bag of three. So in order to make profit, you've got to sell them for at least 30. I might bump it to 35. I'm going to have to see how it goes with having it at 30. Um, but that's, that's where I get a lot of money. So Heather did that. The other thing that Heather did, I'm trying this out. I had the leaders try it out so far. It hasn't gone super great for me, but I'm not judging it yet because I honestly haven't done it enough to feel like I can make that. I can pass a judgment on it. Okay. So the other thing, um, the other way that Heather made all kinds of money last month was, sorry, I went and pulled the message. She sent this to her friends list. So she said she sent this to 30 to 60 people a day on her friends list. Um, and she got quite a few people who said that they wanted to do the sample. So, um, Hey, Lacey, hope all is well. I'm not sure if you're interested, but I'm doing a giveaway every Sunday for $500 cash. This is a way to thank my community for supporting a small business. All you have to do is post something for me on your Facebook about my giveaway or business. Also, I'm selling sample packs of some of my products, like a skinny wrap for $30 or a three-day trial pack of our fat-burning coffee, white mocha cold brew, detox skinny tea, or nighttime sleepy tea. I need to pull that detox skinny tea out. Sorry, guys. Pull that out if you don't want to do um, skinny tea. Uh, for $25, would you like to support me and do a post for me or purchase a sample pack? And Heather said she had tons of people do the sample pack that way too. So, um, that's, that's how a lot of times when you see the leaders making sample cash, that's how we're making it is the option one option two. Now I will tell you guys, and this is going to go on my YouTube. So hopefully nobody reports me. We were told by corporate, it is okay to use, but not to mass put it out there. So, um, I'm giving it to you guys, but I, if you're like in any kind of like chat group with like another team, or I know like I'm in one with a whole bunch of triples, you know, don't share this verbiage because it's not necessarily what the company wants being put out there a whole lot. Okay. But for our team, I want you guys using this. I want you guys making money. This is just another great way to make sample cash, you know, right before the holidays, especially. And if you guys are doing like a giveaway post on your page anyways, and you're already messaging people, telling them that they can put a post up for you, might as well give them the option to purchase a sample. I've had a lot of people say both too. The only trick with both you guys is to remember to have them do both. 
A lot of times if you send a post, you forget that they said they'll do both and you forget to ask them about the sample. Um, I generally start with the sample and then ask them to do the post after that. So um, I've just found it's easier for me to remember to have them post that way rather than um, than trying to remember after they post to have them buy the sample. So, um, all right. I basically talked up until our cutoff time. I mean, we could stay on longer, but I'm not going to make you guys, I know it's so late for East coast, but I would say you guys, um, just take 10 minutes. It literally takes 10 minutes to send 30 messages, maybe a little bit longer if you're like me and I have to scroll for 20 minutes to get down to L's right now. So one thing about messaging my friends list, I'm just like constantly scroll, it takes me forever to scroll down and get back to where I left off at. But, um, take 10, 15 minutes, you guys, and send 30 messages so that you have people already tomorrow morning. When you wake up, you already have people saying yes, that they'll post for you. And you guys, if you send 30 tonight and you don't have a yes tomorrow morning, that's okay. It happens sometimes. It's not a reflection on you, not a reflection on your business. It's a reflection on them. And like, I'm just going to say it, they're lazy. They want free money for literally absolutely nothing. Okay. And if that's the case, like you don't really want them posting for you anyways, because their network and their market is probably very similar along that idea. And you're just going to like, feel like you're banging your head on a wall. If you're adding those kinds of people constantly to your, um, to your page. So, um, take the time though, send it out get some posts up first thing in the morning, make sure you're listening to strangest secret. Make sure you guys have your card done. You guys, it's not a joke, like carry it around. I'm dead serious. Like mine's a mess because it's been folded up and put in my pocket when I leave the house. And a lot of times when I leave the house, I'll like put it on my dashboard. I know it's not safe. I can't see my speedometer all the time. I can mainly see it. Okay. Um, <laughs> but you know, like I put it where I see it. Um, when I come in and go to bed at night, it's on the floor next to my bed. Cause I don't have a nightstand. Sean gets the nightstand. I get the dresser. Um, so, you know, I, I put it on the floor next to my bed. And then when I get up in the morning, it's on top of my phone and I grab that first. And I look at that first and just that card, it seems silly, but I promise you guys, it really does. You know, like he says, you become what you think about. And so it's putting that idea into your head first thing in the morning, last thing at night before you go to sleep and all day long. Yes, Daniel. So I know you have a lot of squirrel moments, but you shouldn't have squirrel moments or try to read while you're driving. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> I'm not necessarily <laughs> reading while I'm driving. It's just that it's sitting there and I know what it is, you know, cause I mean, it just says what my goal is. So I know what it is. And so it's keeping me thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just keeping that constant. Don't worry. I'm not being dangerous. <laughs> we need you to be safe. Yes. Oh, I know. I know. Trust me. <laughs> I am most of the time. Every now and then I've gone live with you guys in the car and that's not a good it's not a good example to set. I'm recording. Nothing. I need to stop saying things. You're, you're totally <laughs> parked when you do those, though. Yes. Yes. Always parked. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Um,